Hello my friends and O2 O2 tariff people. I made these a couple of years ago and I brought them in to repair them yesterday, which they're all repaired. But my camera was set on time lapse. And if you don't reset it back to a normal camera, it'll stay on time lapse until you do. So we were set on time lapse all day. I repaired these I repaired them because they was the glue come apart and on this one I repaired it because it actually snapped in half I think the kids did it with a when they was footballing out the front because there's a dowel going right the way down the middle of these. There's the dowel there. I don't know if you can see that from that distance. I'll zoom in for you. See the dowel there? It goes right the way through. Right the way through it. So you lay it all flat on the on the bench. You you cut it into whatever shape you want, like a like a fish. And then you give it a twist, and as you're twisting it, you you give it a dab of glue. Every one. But this one I give away. But they moved and left it there. So I went and reclaimed it because it's mine. Mine, I tell you, it's mine. So I'm going to just stain them up a bit now. I'm going to uh, varnish them. So while I'm varnishing, while I'm varnishing, I thought I'd have a little rant about O2. What? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but listen to me. O2, every month with O2 you get a reward. That's no good. You get a reward for being a good Christian. So I got a fair amount of rewards, which is a three pound three pound every time so they put three pound in your in your saving thing so there we go so there I am thinking I'll just let it keep going build up build up build up you know what's the point of using it so I let it build up I let it build up to a certain amount and I would have left it I would have left it building up forever because I had no no need for it. Then I get an email this morning saying if you don't use up your rewards no I say my rewards because I thought they were mine but apparently they're not mine they're theirs and if you don't use them up they're going to start taking them back off you after 90 days. So, what the fucking... I, what's the point of that? That's the fucking Indian giver, isn't it? They're giving with one hand and taking away with the other hand. Bastards. There's just nothing out there no more, is there? There's nothing out there for us oldies. I think it's just a plan to get rid of us myself. 
just keep doing their fucking heads in all the time. And I'm going to paint this like that. Oh, pretty. I said, oh, I'm still on that subject now. I? I said, right, I said to Cheryl, I said, I got to use my, I got to use my um, rewards up, quick. So, a couple of days ago, they sent me another um, text saying, um, a new phone, blah, 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 blah. So I said to Cheryl, you know, she's always moaning about her phone. I said, have, have a new phone. Use my um, rewards. I'll put the rest to it. And away to go. So, off we go. In the van, over there. O2 shop. Goes in it and say, I want to, I want to, um, LG Joy, it's called an LG Joy phone, and uh, Pronto. Uh, she looks at us as if we're a pair of fucking nutters. Didn't have a fucking clue what we was talking about. So I get out my phone, shows her the message of her uh, company, O2, new phone, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you use your rewards? Oh, I'll just see if we got that in stock. She said, I've never heard of it. I said, okay, okay. So away she goes, comes back, says, no, we haven't got that in stock. We said, oh, well, they're going to start taking money off me today. Can we use it? Can we pay for it today and collect it when it's in? She said, no, no, you can't do that. So we come away empty handed. O2 is gonna take your money back off you after 90 days. So remember that you're thinking, oh you got rewards. You can have you can have your rewards put back on your phone as credit, but my, my mine is taken straight out of the bank direct debit. So I, it's pointless otherwise I do not use that much I I don't want that much on my phone. So I said go to the, go to the O2 shop and, and buy something and I went on the O2 shop and I said there's fucking nothing there, nothing worth having. Unless you want a new phone, I don't want a new phone, my wife wants a new phone, I don't want a new phone. So um, I ended up, it says you could go to uh, somewhere and get vouchers, so I went up and I got, uh, I got vouchers. And then they said they'll send them through the post and then I'll give them a show. She can go and get her own fucking phone. But I'm going back to life. Life is just full of complications today. Why don't they do anything that somebody else knows about? It's, it's O2 for Christ's sake. Surely they should tell their, the people who work for them what the fucking hell's going on. But they don't. So I felt sorry for her over the, over the shop. Because I'm, uh, I'm quite an handful. And she said, I haven't got a fucking clue what you're talking about. So I thought I was going to get it. I was going to get away without a rant. But then I noticed this is going to be one hell of a short video because I've cocked up on the. Uh, I've cocked up on the time lapse side of it. So to cut a long story short, I'll just paint this up. And then we'll hang them. Okay, come in. See? See? She's trying to be good to me now because I nearly bought her a phone. So, I'll paint these up and I'll get them swinging in the wind. Nearly finished. I wish I, uh, I wish I was in the, I wish I uh, left the film going because it snapped and I caught it. Not only did I catch it, but I caught it on a dry spot as well. I didn't even get the, no crap on my hands. 
So, it wasn't a bad catch at all, sir. So. Ain't this British a good at cricket, is it? Oh, we're full of shite at the moment. Ah, there you go. There you go, my kid. There's your guy. It's back in stuff. I never like painting. So, uh... Sorry for, uh going on. I do try not to rant if possible. But some things just really bugs you don't it you know and you've got to you've got to say something about it. You know hopefully uh O2 is watching us and they'll say for Christ's sake send that man something yeah that's right part I was joking they'd end up sending you a fucking voucher which is not worth fucking fucking eight me to anybody nobody deals in cash no other they send me cash that's what I want fuck me I don't think this was a good idea I think we should have bought a fucking spray gun you know a spray tin It'll last a little bit longer than it did last time. I didn't paint it black. No, 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 no. I didn't paint it black. Somebody else painted it black. I know who, but everybody to their own thing, innit? If you want to paint it black, you paint it fucking black. It was classed as um, re recycling your scraps. This is all scrap wood. All your off cuts, which is, you know, the amount of off cut I get is a bloody good idea to get rid of it, you know. Anything is a good idea to get rid of it. Because it just adds up and adds up and adds up and adds up. I managed to get rid of four bags yesterday. Four bags, no, all on my finger, man. Four bags. Out of maybe, I do, I do about eight bags. Eight bags a week off cuts. You know, that's a lot of bag man, that's a lot of bag. You can't shove it in the bins, eh? It's not garden waste for the start. You can shove a tree in your bin but you can't shove a piece of wood in your bin. That's what they told me. That's literally what they said. You can put a tree in your bin but you cannot put a piece of wood. And I thought, okay, I'm not going to say nothing about that. That is purely open to discussion, in it? Took me by surprise, man. They took me by surprise. Can you see that? How shiny is that? Put the lid on. Where? You see it drive you mad, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're going to sleep. You're feeling tired. You're an old age pensioner. Plus, I can't get over there to get my camera. So I'm saying goodbye from this distance because I'm going to have to leave the camera on forever. Mm -hmm.